yeah, it's, yeah. But, I mean, we're stepping up majorly if you go to the next slide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this, this baby, this is a daguerreotype. Mm. It's the earliest surviving Sweet. daguerreotype taken by Mr. Daguerre himself. Seen here. 1837. Mm -hmm. Seen her. First guy ever to take a, to invent a way of taking a photo of himself. I think it's nice. Yeah. Uh, if you look up images of this guy, he looks permanently confused in yeah, so I many of his pictures. And that, and there's like, you have to pose for so long. So there's no way that wasn't just on purpose. He was like, I want to look like I'm always lost in thought, is but this, a little worried about thing, it. Oh, resting expression. Yeah. yeah He's yeah. just like, huh. No one had figured out how you were supposed to pose for photos yet. So of course he was confused. Mm, I'd be confused bad. too. If I if I invented a new kind of camera, no, no, I'd be no, baffled. One, no one knew to say cheese. Uh, you gotta learn to say cheese, man. Yeah. What, oh, one, yeah. One I don't thing... know when they invented saying cheese. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> one thing I will say though is we have a very early camera on the bottom right. And yeah, we do. Same same principle as a camera obscura, right? Except we've advanced optics to the point that instead of just having a hole, which kind of sucks for any number of reasons, not least that you don't get a very clear image. What you get is a lens, you get a lens assembly. Uh, you put yes. that on the front, and you can like magnify it, and you can enhance uh, the image that goes onto the, uh, the like the photographic medium at the back. Uh, and you fuck around with that, and you tinker with the chemistry, and that's a daguerreotype. That's a fucking daguerreotype. That's a daguerreotype. Daguerreotype. <laughs> this is when they'd figured out bitumen of Judea. Right? Okay, it's light sensitive. You know. Fair enough, but you're not going to get a good photo of, out of it. Mm -hmm. This this is using fucking silver. Mm. And we're going to be using oh, silver so basically up until the modern day. Silver salts, my beloved. Silver oh, wow. salts. Oh my god. So silver gross. iodide makes my fucking life. Like, I'm such a, it's the more only. Of a, more of a silver nitrate girl myself. Ah, uh, that's not photo sensitive, but that's is it fine. Not? Um, what the fuck? Oh no. Huh? Well, it's a, okay. It's. No, it's it's not. It's one of the least, but it's the cheapest way of getting a salt of silver, which is why it's like the major. It's it's the go to. Is that a fucking ice cream truck? <laughs> it's yeah. too hot. Wow. It's too yeah. hot. Wow, M M Mr. Softy <laughs> is out in this. I mean, my God, <laughs> that guy. That guy doesn't That's stop crazy. for anything. Grind I... never stops. Wow. He was out <laughs> like in the middle of the George Floyd riots. <laughs> yeah, he well, was. You got to sell ice cream, Stephen, to <laughs> angry people. Um, yeah, so, so uh, okay, listen, I may not know the difference between my silver nitrates and my silver iodides, but if you want a chemistry lesson, fuck off to Technology Connections, right? Do you, you're here for- You're gonna get a chemistry lesson later on from me. <laughs> you're here for yeah, whatever it is that we bring to this. Yes. You invited an ex-chemistry teacher on the fucking podcast to talk about a chemistry that I love. I mostly just wanted to tell people to fuck off to Technology Connections. It's really good. It's a really good. Yeah. It's a really good channel. Is the problem? Yeah. So he tinkers with this. When it was when this technique was revealed at the Academy of Science and Art, which it's written in French in, in real life in nine, 1830 <laughs> fucking nine, Paris understandably went fucking mental for it because all of a sudden you could create a fucking image, and this is just like nothing anyone had ever done before, mm -hmm. other than like bitumen of Judea, and nobody cares about fucking any of that shit. This, this was so impressive, they referred to it as the mirror of nature, right? Because the daguerreotype is a very it's shiny... It's only 11 years later, too. That's insane. Mm. It, it moves so quickly. Like, early photography was just guys having breakthroughs every, like, 20 minutes. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, everyone of their nan wanted this shit, but exposure yeah. time, it's down from 8 hours. Fair. But it's still about 15 minutes, which is... Short, but very long. It's very long if you have to sit still for 50 minutes, but it's short if you realize that now you can get a fucking photograph of yourself taken in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Good for landscapes, like, great for portraiture. Yeah, great for landscapes. But for, like, action photography, mm -hmm. not really possible. Yeah. Not so good point. yet. Nope. You're not going up in, like, Times Square and getting any street shots with, with a daguerreotype. You are, but they're gonna look real fucked up. <laughs> I can uh, show I mean, you what they'll look like, You would get a long exposure. It's, yeah, actually. It's, it's 1837, there's no action happening, it's just all just, like, a horse and cart plotting slowly down the street. Naughty horse Maybe. and cart race is like X, a, that's X, action X. to me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you see, well, like, it's, uh, it's action, it's just the kind of action that's criminal. You'll, you'll, <laughs> Next, you'll, slide. Maybe, Next slide. Maybe you'll Next see slide. a train. Maybe. So th 
There's like two of so them. So this is an this is action photography. This is an action daguerreotype. This is uh, a genuine Yo. world historical moment. This is the first photograph of a person. Um, if uh, you look are they there, on, bottom left. Yeah, bottom left. That is a yep. dude getting his shoes shined. Uh, this is Boulevard du Temple in Paris, third arrondissement. Uh, uh, they, Louis de Guest sticks the camera out the window um, in 1838, and the exposure time for this, 10 minutes, right? In wow. those 10 minutes, lots of not people, lots of carts go up and down the boulevard, uh, like, mm -hmm. and those do not appear. At best, you get like a faint sort of like shadow. But one dude happens to be standing still with his leg up for 10 minutes getting his shoes really fucking shined, I guess. And that's mm. the like earliest photographic memory we have of a person. Like it's crazy. The the chemistry like uh, and the technology coexists. So like at this specific moment in time, someone who never knew about it most likely was like immortalized chemically. Um, and it's it's just mm -hmm. like it's so strange and surreal, and it's it's such a sort of like a historical moment. Uh, and uh, uh, so many early photographs are like this, where you see sort of mm. like glimpses of people's faces who stood still for like maybe five minutes at a time. And so, you know, their, their body is gone and their face is still there. Or like people sort of like linger at doorways and then disappear and everything sort of like appears through a bit of a fog. Um, and then you realize that, no, that, that's people. That's the movement of people, uh, none of whom have been successfully recorded. Um, but like a couple have, and it's it's really really compelling to me that it's like sort of accidents like this, uh, little like sort of uh, things of chance and fate that like determine uh, what might be the like mm -hmm. the only visual historical record for any of these people. Um, and that's something that I feel yeah. very strongly about photography is that like most people, uh, there was no visual record of their existence in any way prior to the existence of yeah. photography. You weren't paying to have a portrait done. You, you, yeah. no one knew what you looked like. Um, you might have a little yeah. cameo, maybe that would be lost immediately or smashed or whatever. Uh, uh but like, f for almost and if anyone... someone's doing a portrait of you as well, mm -hmm. like if you're rich and you purchase like a portrait of yourself, they're gonna hedge it a little bit. Yeah, of course. Even that's not gonna be a true representation of what you look like no. in that moment. No. Not like a fucking camera can produce. Oh, thank God, it is, started I, raining. You can. You can really understand why there were so many breakthroughs oh, in the early years. Bless. Good luck out there, Alice. I know. I'm going to go out there naked and just like stand under it for a bit. I, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like two well, weeks and like 20, 27 to 29 degrees and like it's 100% been crazy. humidity. I really need it. Um, I've been walking around saying they should, they should let you know if like it's the last time you're ever going to feel rain. Because oh. there was rain a couple of weeks ago, and it, it wasn't bookended at all. It just stopped, and then it hasn't started again for fucking weeks. And I'm like, someone should have told me that that's the last rain I was going to get. Oh, no, it's, it's really coming. We would down. have had this a ceremony about it. Ideal. Can we have podcast outside? I'll put up like a... Like a no. okay. <laughs> next slide, please. Podcast inside. And we have to go to the next slide. Yes, we do. <laughs> I put in a bunch of cartoons about photographers as they became a social phenomenon, and my favorite of these is the largest, which is uh, mm -hmm. the the guy, the the Western photographer who just pulls a gun on you and is like, "If you move, I'll kill you." Any photographer <laughs> shooting a long exposure. Is that that's that's Take where care. the uh, that's where the phrase "shooting" came to. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah, you know, represent photography. Yeah. Mm. So, again, breakthroughs are coming thick and fast. So by 1842, new lenses, purer chemicals, like better, better suited chemicals for the purposes, have brought exposure times down to like about a minute. Which is wow. like fucking sick. Right. <laughs> One minute? <laughs> um, it's nothing. There are daguerre daguerreotype portrait studios are popping up all over in all three cities of the world, which were London, Paris, and New York mm, at this that's, time. That's all the ones. Uh, what, uh, that's all of them. What's crazy is how accessible this is immediately. Like uh, uh, by the eighteen, like eighteen fifties, eighteen sixties, you could like d take your kid or your family in and get like a family portrait, like the one that Punch is making fun of here, and like mm -hmm. you could get a, a, a like a recognizable visual representation of what you fucking looked like for not that much money. 
Um, like it was it was a lucrative business, but it was like accessible to the middle classes, and honestly, kind of trickled down by the eighteen eighties to like even where um, sort of like the upwardly mobile working classes could afford to have photographs taken of themselves. Mm. Still very posed, mind you, as you get hints mm -hmm. of with this, where it's like, you know, the photographer will set you up in front of a backdrop with some props, much like a portrait painter would. Um, mm -hmm. Where, like, for instance, if you're a woman getting married, you, you, you know, might get given a Bible to have on your lap or something. Um, yeah. But, like, it, as an established, like, sort of convention of portraiture, but even so, it takes a fucking minute. That's nothing. It's... However, calling it accessible is is um, <laughs> accessible little... to consumers. Accessible, accessible, yeah. accessible to consumers. Yeah. If we go to the next slide here, um, what I what I've done is I've uh, I'm going to take you through how to take a daguerreotype. So, number one here is this bloke. He's, this guy is buffing a uh, silver plated like plate of copper. So A, already someone's had to do some fucking electrolysis mm -hmm. to get this here. Yeah. Silver plate, plate of copper, buff to an absolute mirror. You want this to be as shiny as possible. Then, number two, you put it into an airtight box and fume it with iodine and bromine. Safe. Um, oh, bromine. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> real safe. You want those fumes just in, yeah. in the You want to be beautiful, fucking with Beautiful them. orange yeah. color just mm -hmm. drifting into the room. <laughs> now what's happening here is that the the iodine and the bromine are reacting with the silver to create photosensitive salts silver iodide silver bromide that doesn't really change you would expose it in your camera you can see that there's a guy here with a stand sort of holding him in position mm -hmm. this was very much very a thing that was used yes. yeah yeah, yeah. There was like posing stands that looked like a bit like a fork that you just like slot your head into one of the tines of and then just wait. <laughs> just, I don't know. Um, after that, you uh, go ahead and develop it. And how do you develop it? Well, you slide it into this box here that I've labeled number four. Um, you put <laughs> some mercury under Who it and then you four? light a <laughs> alcohol lamp underneath that mercury and do, fume will it. You do what? <laughs> With, <laughs> do what? Fume it with mercury. You boiled um, mercury. Cool. That's just, that's a cool vapor that to have sounds around. Safe. <laughs> so you, you, a lot of fuming really is happening. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're having say. you're having four like three or four different chemicals are competing uh, to fuck you up. You're breathing in stuff not found in the Bible. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I it's just, race to the bottom. You know, I, you know, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of nasty chemicals, but it is missing exposed moving parts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's true. Solid it state, was baby. very. Yeah. Uh, I will... you get pinched in the stand, I suppose. Yeah. I will be right back. I'm just gonna swap out chairs. I'm on a piano bench right now, and my ass is falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so keep going. What? The, that's that's the what? most unexpected kind of seat you could have given me for that. I'll, like, be, I'll be back in you like. Could said, two, and, and you could have said. You could have been like, minutes. I am in a I am in a posing stand right now, and I gotta I, go uh... get up and walk around. A piano bench? <laughs> I'm on a piano bench at a vanity of Corinne, <laughs> Corinne's sister's vanity. I sent you the image. I posted it on Twitter. I, I have seen the image. It will be in the episode now. Thank you, Kevin. You're my hero. I, yeah, you guys keep going. I'll be back in like two you. minutes. Love you too, bud. All right, no sweat. Thanks. After, and after you've uh, fumed it with boiled mercury, what that's done is that's another displacement reaction that's left behind a thin layer of pure metallic silver in the shape of the image that you want to produce, but you still have to fix it, which is to remove all of the unreacted silver, and they use sodium thiosulfate for that, usually just a bath of it. Mm. S um, seen here with a guy squirting it all over his hands. That's right. Oh, yeah. um, you would use gloves if you were doing that now, um, and I'm aware of at least two people who still do daguerreotypes now, no fucking clue why, <laughs> but... Thanks, it's fun. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it's fun, but I, I just... I don't want to be fuming any shit with mercury, like, let alone the bromine, right? Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, I, was, I, was I don't need that kind of fume in my environment. Difficult to store, too, especially the bromine. Um, 